Hey everyone, it's Amy again. I've got another haul video for you guys. Um, I'm doing a, just a quick one. I, I have about 10 albums to show you guys. Um, I'm going to be taking a trip to the Pacific Northwest in a little over a week. I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm going to be going to Portland, Seattle, Olympia, um, Astoria, a bunch of different places around the Pacific Northwest and I plan to pick up a lot of vinyl. Um, so I thought maybe I should do a quick haul video with what I've got because I don't plan on buying anything between now and vacation. I said that about three months ago and I kept buying, kept buying, kept buying. And then I wasn't going to this past weekend either. I said no more vinyl until Portland and Seattle. And uh, then uh, took an impromptu trip to a record shop that I'd been wanting to go to for quite a while, which is Kayam Records in uh, Nyack, New York. It's uh, down by New York City, uh, heading towards New York City. Um, and I had been wanting to, to visit that shop. I go to New York so often and I always plan to on the way back, but then I'm always tired from a show I went to the night before and I always skip it. Tried one time and they were having a big street fair and I couldn't find parking anywhere. So I just said, yeah, it's okay. And I headed home. Uh, so finally got to visit that place and ended up buying some records, of course. Couldn't resist. Um, my better half wanted to go and get a jean jacket because they have vintage clothes. Um, I just was kind of going along for the ride, but um, now I had to buy some vinyl. So without further ado, I'm going to show you some of the things I've gotten recently. I picked up some old uh, 80s albums. I went to a place in Watertown, New York, um, upstate New York, near the close, pretty close to the Canadian border. Um, it's a shop called Thrifted, and they have a lot of 80s vinyl, vintage vinyl. They've got um, a lot of vintage clothes and housewares and stuff like that. So it was a great little retro vintage shop um, and they had just a ton of 80s records. So I picked up a few different things um, for good prices. Um, you know, the covers aren't in great shape, but the records are really nice and clean. So um, the first one is Heart. Um, I have, I think I have a little bit of Heart in my collection. My mom has more. Um, and uh, yeah, this one is out in 1980 on Epic. Um, so yeah, I picked this one up um, for a couple of bucks. It was a, a good deal. And I haven't spun any of these records yet, but I'm looking forward to listening to this one. So so second record I got was Miami Sound Machine, Primitive Love. Um, I loved Gloria Estefan when I was young. Uh, and when I was in high school, I remember us doing um, like a Miami Sound Machine, like sort of uh, best of conglomeration in one song it was kind of crazy um but yeah i love this stuff so uh, when i saw this i was like yeah i gotta get this one pick this one up and add it to my collection and then okay something that you probably don't know about me considering most of the stuff that i listen to is punk or indie um i actually do have slight interest in country music i really like the old 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 stuff because i think it's just fantastic it's really great um i'm not really into newer country um i was into country a little bit in like the 80s um and nine like early 90s um but basically i only liked a couple of singers um and one of them happened to be reba mcintyre um i know some of her music is it's a little heavy country but um i, I like it anyway so um, I don't actually have any uh, vinyl with Reba. So I saw this album and I decided to pick it up. Um, I used to have all of these on like tape and CD and stuff like that. Um, I still do have the, the CDs of Reba. So I was excited to pick this one up. Um, I know it's not exactly what goes with my usual collection, but um, yeah, I, I do, I like her. And another uh, country artist that I like is Dolly Parton. Um, I mean, Come on, it's Dolly Parton, right? So, um, so I picked this up and look at this cover. I mean, come on, that's an awesome cover, right? And it's a gatefold. It's pretty cool. I mean, check that out, right? I had to get it. So, um, yeah, and it includes the hit single "You're the Only One." So yeah, I got this for a couple of bucks. So that was a good deal. All these records were like two or three dollars. Um, the prices were excellent. Um, most of the records, you know, they're a little beat um, on the on the sleeves and stuff like that. But in terms of the quality of the vinyl, it's very, very good. So uh, picked those up while I was up there in Watertown. And then something that I picked up online um, is a 
another copy of one of my favorite records. This is the record that I've had, Move Into the Villa Villa Coola, which is a compilation that was put out on Villa Villa Coola Records. And it's got Slater Kinney, um, some really like interesting stuff. It's even got, um, they do a cover of More Than a Feeling, which is fantastic. Um, you've got Ruby Falls, Eileen Miles, really good stuff on this. I found this copy at a record fair um, in December, uh, November or December, and um, it's sealed, and I have not um, opened it, and I won't, because I wanted a nice, clean, totally crisp copy of this um, to stay sealed, and I knew that I wanted to get a used copy, because so many of them um, were done on silkscreen covers. Now, I've seen references to, um, and I've seen pictures of green on silver silk screen and pink on silver, and I've heard about white on silver as well. Um, this one came up online, and it was black on silver. So I thought, well, okay, I gotta get it. So that way I can have an open copy of the album to play, and I can have this really cool sleeve. So um, it's really neat. The back of it is different. As you can see, the back of the record has this on it, but this back of this um, little folder that comes in, you know, featuring Slater, Kenny, Eileen Miles, Ruby Falls, um, that's really neat. And then it just opens up and you've got um, the image that's on the back of the other record I have. And it's just got some, some information about the music and the stuff on here and then the record. Um, which is just on black vinyl. So I was really excited to pick this one up because I've been looking for one of the silk screen copies um, and I hadn't seen a reference to a black on silver one. So um, that's pretty cool. And I mean, God knows how many more there might be out there then. So I'm glad I picked this up. And uh, yeah, so that was a great find, great deal. And then, of course, like I was saying, I went to Cayenne Record Shop in Nyack. Um, which is a great little shop. If you don't know, it's um, owned by Jennifer O'Connor, who also owns Kayam Records label. Um, and, you know, she's got a great career. Uh, I love her music. I, I've shown her records that I've gotten. Um, my cats are jumping all over the place, I swear. Um, and I've gotten, you know, some of her records before, and I saw her open for Nico Case. So Kayam had a bunch of stuff that I wanted and I probably could have spent a fortune, but I tried to limit it to just a few things. So something that I've been looking for for a long time, I keep missing it, every shop I go to has already sold out of them, is the new Taco Cat album. Um, this is Lost Time. This is a fantastic album. Um, I, it's on Hardly Art, which is um, a subdivision. It, it's under Sub Pop, the Sub Pop label. And they're out of, they're a band out of Seattle. They're just fantastic. It's it's great kind of punk, um, really interesting music. A lot of fun. Uh, so I've been looking for this one for a while, and I have come across it, but it didn't have the colored vinyl sticker on it, and I wanted the colored version because it's really beautiful, as I will show you. Very nice, right? Um, there's a lot of like space UFO, basically alien theme uh, themes on the record, and one of the basically probably my favorite song off this album is Dana Catherine Scully, which they wrote about Dana Scully, um, X Files. So what's really cool is one of the lines is um, the truth is out there, but so are lies. And so what is really cool is in the dead wax on one side. It says the truth is out there and then when you flip it the dead wax on the other side says but so are lies so um that's that's just awesome i love that i noticed that when i uh pulled the album out the first time so i'm going to play you guys a short clip of um dana catherine scully so that you can hear taco cat if you haven't heard it before um i you know it's a really cool band and uh it's a great song <laughs> So that was Taco Cat, uh, Dana Catherine Scully. They're just a cool band. This is the insert inside the record uh, last time. Uh, really interesting. Definitely check them out. Um, 
while I was there, they also had a seven inch that I've had on my list. Take me to your dealer. Um, this one is really cool. It's on really beautiful vinyl. I didn't even know it was actually on colored vinyl until I got home and I looked. I, I love it. I think it's really, 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 really nice green. Um, the lighting's a little funny in here, so it's not showing quite as, quite as crisp as I'd like it to. Um, it's really emerald green, actually, in person. Um, it looks a little more limey on the, the camera, but uh, yeah, so I was happy to find that 7-inch because, yeah, I've had that one on my list and uh, didn't think that I would be, uh, I'd be finding it. And I thought maybe when I was in Seattle, I might be able to pick up a copy. So got this one as well. And then the next album that I've been looking to get to, uh, I saw Little Scream, the, the band Little Scream, open for uh, Land of Talk when I was in New York. And um, I think I said before that I spent all my money on Land of Talk merch and didn't have any more cash left to get a Little Scream album. Um, but ever since then, every time I go into a record store I've been looking for it, just can't find it. Um, which was really disappointing. <laughs> but luckily, they had it at Kayam, and I got a copy of it. Um, this is a great, great album. Um, this is their second album, um, based out of Montreal. Really excellent, excellent band. I love just, uh, there's really dreamy, excellent quality to some of this music, and I really love sort of that 80s feel to it as well um but it's really really good and they are amazing live really put on a fantastic show um so i'm going to show you the color on this vinyl because it too is gorgeous so this is the little screen vinyl and again the lighting is off so it's showing it is a little bit paler than it really is it's like a nice cobalt translucent cobalt blue um, really nice I like the uh, custom center labels um, in gold really looks beautiful um, and I've really enjoyed listening to this album it's really really fantastic um, I'm gonna sh share with you guys a little clip if you don't know little screams so that you can kind of hear what they what they sound like um, my favorite track off of this album is uh, love is a weapon so I'm going to play you that track right now so that was little scream uh, if you like what you hear you heard definitely check these guys out uh, really really excellent um, love these guys so excited to find that one <clears throat> and last but definitely not least, um, what better place to find Jennifer O'Connor Records than in her store? So um, I needed to round out my collection a little bit and I came across I Want What You Want on vinyl. So I got that one. Um, this was, in, I think this is in 2012. Yeah, 2012 on Kayam Records. And it's nice, lovely, gorgeous white vinyl, which I know I've said a million times that I absolutely adore, but I really do. So really nice, creamy white vinyl. Love it. Classic, beautiful. Um, I'm actually going to play you guys. I know I've mentioned Jennifer O'Connor before, um, but for those who might not be familiar with your, her music, I'm going to play you a little clip right now. If you want to change your life, you're gonna have to change your mind about what you want, about how you spend your time you cannot afford. The lies you're telling yourself And everyone else So that was Jennifer O'Connor and the song is off this album, I Want What You Want. So got this one. Um, and then as another little bonus, um, this 7-inch little airplane heart was put out by Jennifer O'Connor and Chichi LaRouge. 
and it is absolutely gorgeous. Nice, bright red vinyl. Love it. Translucent. Um, really gorgeous. And I love the custom center labels on this one too. Really, really cool. It's my cat. Um, so I picked this one up as well. Um, so I was happy to find this stuff and yeah, I, I could have spent a fortune at Kayam, um, but I had to try to save some money for this vacation because I'm visiting a ton of record stores. Um, I've got a, a whole list of them set um, and I cannot wait to, to dive in and see what I can find in the Pacific Northwest. So this is going to be my last haul video for a while. Um, I'm probably going to update on my social media with things that I find or neat record shops that I go to. Um, but as far as a, a full haul video, uh, we'll have to wait a couple of weeks. Um, and when I come back, it will be a very long haul video, I'm sure. So I'll see you guys in a few weeks. Take care.